Okay, so I just finished building this computer and this particular Asus motherboard only has three fan headers, chassis one, chassis two, and CPU. So the front two fans are on a splitter. The fan, you know, on the heat sink is obviously on the CPU and the fan in the rear of the case is on chassis two. Now, because the two fans on the front are on a splitter, one of them is not spinning due to the fact of a setting in the BIOS. And the reason why I am going to show you this is because if somebody else builds a computer and has to use a splitter, perhaps they're using the same motherboard or run into a similar situation, they might want to know why the fan's lighting up but not spinning. I mean, and that is, of course, if it's an RGB fan. Uh, or, or LED fan. I suppose if it's an all-black fan, they would have to hopefully just be able to notice that the fan's not spinning. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about now. You'll see that it starts to spin and then it stops, right? Did you notice that? But the bottom one is spinning. Now the reasoning for this is due to a setting in the BIOS. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Come over here to the BIOS. Sorry, right, well, now I'm using a phone. I don't have uh, the ability to screen capture this, but I'm gonna do the best I can here and try to hold things steady. Now, the first thing let's take notice is over here. You'll see it says CPU fan, in case it's spinning, chassis fan two spinning, but chassis fan one is not spinning, even though bottom fan is indeed spinning it's just the top one that's not spinning the way to fix this you got to manually go into this now CPU fan 1 it needs to be set to PWM and it is already chassis fan 1 is on DC this is also by the way a default set uh, default state of the bios i haven't done anything matter of fact right before this video i had updated the bios thinking it was going to solve the problem but uh yeah so here you'll see chassis fan 2 okay so chassis fan 1 pwm is what we need chassis fan 2 pwm to get these going, as you see here, was under the Q fan control chassis one and chassis two, changing them to PWM. Now, before I had updated the BIOS, the fans would automatically change. After updating the BIOS, I needed to restart the machine to get the fans to get moving again. They're now under PWM as, as, as I said them and both sets of fans are now spinning in the front thank you for watching